I've had a lot of people asking me, how do you get your signature onto your photos? So I'm going to give you a quick little lesson. Now, I've already scanned my signature, as you can see here. This is a scanned image, scanned right in from a scanner, and then the text or the, the black writing was selected and the uh, white around from the paper was, uh, was taken out. But I'm going to, for simpler purposes right now, because that's another story in itself, another lesson, is we are just going to go up and we're going to create a file that's going to be your signature file. And your signature file we're, we are going to make out of text. So we're going to go up to Photoshop and say File, New. The signature file should be much smaller than your actual picture. So if this picture is 18 inches by 9 inches, you're not going to want your signature file that big. It's going to stretch across the whole thing, which is not what you need. So it automatically, your new layer defaults to pixels. Let's pick inches. We want to see how big that's going to be. Let's just say 5 inches by 2 inches, and we can always make this smaller. Automatically and defaulting, the background contents say white. What's going to happen with this is that when you transfer and copy your signature, on a white background, it's going to copy and paste on a white background here on your picture, which you don't want. You want the image to show and you want your signature to be transparent. So your background contents say white. You can select down and you see that transparent is an option. Select transparent. You can name this if you'd like to save your signature file. So let's just name it signature. And then I'm going to say OK. So here we've got a nice transparent box. And I'm going to select the text tool from my toolbar over here in Photoshop. So I select text. And then I come over here. And you can select from your toolbar up here, which is all for your text, any font that you want. I'm just going to select what's called Zafino. And now you can see with your cursor how big that's going to be. Choose your text file color right here and the size of your font right here. And so I'm just going to go ahead and put Kristen Westlake right there. And I've selected black as my, as my file color, as my font color. If I want this to be bigger, I can go over it like this and I can select right here and make it a little bit bigger. So see how that works. Now when I'm done with the text, I have to go over here and select this tool. Okay, so now I've got my, now I've got my signature. There's two different ways that you can take this signature and add it, to your, add it to your picture. One, you can actually just grab it and drag it, simply like this, and drag it right into your picture. Now as you can see, that's a little bit small. It's a text file. And if you drag it without pressing the shift button, it's going to resize it a little funny. But that's okay. There we go. But that's a one way that you can get that your signature in. And you can always drag it and put it wherever you want it. There we go. The other way that you can get your signature into the picture is you can go up to edit and say, or sorry, select and say select all. As you can see, this little marquee, the marching ants are around this. And then you go up and you say, copy. Actually, in this case, it says copy merged. And then go back into your photo folder or file. And then just go and say, paste. And here it is. It comes into the middle, though. So I, I usually like to drag it better. But again, you can increase the size that way. And there you have it. So two different ways of getting your signature in, and you can drag it from there. So you can either drag it, go in here, and I just have to deselect that, and grab your, grab your signature and drag it. And that's my preferred way. I had to resize it, which all you do is drag the one of the corners. or go up and copy and paste it. 